so here I have some earbuds that genuinely blows my mind. These are the Zhao Du Du Smart Earbuds S1. And these are very similar to AirPods. And if you take an earbud out, it looks very similar to AirPods, not even just the buds, but even the case and even has that satisfying snap. It's really, really cool. But here's the most mind blowing part about these earbuds. It only costs $35. And when I was planning to make this video, I wasn't gonna compare these to the AirPods because it didn't feel right to compare a budget earbuds to something flagship. But actually after using this for over two weeks as my daily driver, I'm starting to prefer these over the AirPods. And I'm gonna list my reasons in this video. And I actually wasn't planning to feel that way about these earbuds, but after using them, it completely changed my mind. And before I talk more about my experience, let's move on to the unboxing and see what we get in the box. The design of the box actually looks really nice and there are some features listed on the side of the box, but I'll talk about them in more detail later on. So let's slice the plastic wrap around the box and pop the box open. Awesome, so the first thing you see is the quick start guide with all the info you need about the earbuds. Then we got some safety instructions and then we also got a USB to type C cable. Thank you so much for not making it a micro USB and making it a type C was a really smart choice and it's just really useful. Then finally we got the earbuds themselves in their case. So first impressions, it actually felt way more well built than I actually thought it would feel. The case was a matte white instead of glossy white, which we usually see on AirPods cases. But I really love the matte feel. The Zhao Du logo is printed on the front and let's take a look at the bottom. You can find the Type-C charging port and a light indicator to let you know it's charging. And after testing the charging point, it feels a bit iffy, it's a bit loose, but it does the job well. All right, let's finally open up the case and take a look inside. We can see the earbuds sitting inside and we can take them out and remove this blue wrapper, which basically helps us connect the charging prongs to the charger itself. And let's do the same thing with the other bud. So right off the bat, they look very similar to AirPods from the top of the earbud, but the side is a flat glossy surface that has a light indicator on the side. The stem is definitely thicker than the AirPods and some people might not like it, but I feel it looks perfectly fine. Before we get into my thoughts, I'll show you how to connect these to your phone. All you have to do is first take out the earbuds, connect to your phone via Bluetooth, and this earbuds does have Bluetooth 5.0. Then you can download the Zhao Du app and start connecting the earbuds as well through that. All you have to do is take out the earbuds, long press them, and the app will identify your device and connect it to the app. The only reason to use the app is if you want to see the individual battery health of the earbuds, or if you want to use the really cool voice notes feature. If you don't really want any of those, you can just connect it via Bluetooth to your phone and you should be all set. And you can also connect this to any computer or Mac. So I've been using the S1s for two weeks right now and I've been using it for everything from listening to music, watching videos, attending Zoom calls and phone calls and much more. And here are my thoughts from those two weeks. All right, so let's first start with the fit. So if you've had AirPods before, these will literally feel perfect in your ear. So you don't have to worry about any inconvenience if you've used AirPods before. It's also lighter than the AirPods coming in at around 3.7 grams per earbud. I consistently use AirPods Gen 2s and after switching to this, I barely noticed a difference and I use this for running and never felt loose or it never fell which was amazing the sides of the earbuds also have a tap feature which you can customize what action it should do when you double tap or tap the sides you can make it pause or play a song or you can just summon your voice assistant the light indicator on the side also lets you know the battery level of the earbuds which I feel is a really nice touch the earbuds have an IPX4 waterproofing and sweat proofing rating and it has a four-hour battery life over a single charge but it can be charge three additional times over that. So you can get about 16 hours of total battery life. In my personal experience, it falls a bit below that. I had an experience of about three hours to three and a half hours of video or music playback. And I usually had to charge it right after that. And it didn't usually take long to charge, maybe half an hour for a full charge, even 15 minutes between those times. And it just felt really great. And the charging was really fast. Obviously the battery levels is gonna be different for different people based on battery wearing or just how intensely you're using the earbuds. But here's the most important part, the sound quality. The S1 has a 13 millimeter dynamic driver unit, which has some decent audio. The sound quality is pretty average. And since it's a budget earbud, I actually set the bar really low, but actually it surpassed my expectations for what it actually sounded like. But obviously it's not gonna reach flagship level like AirPods or Samsung Buds, but it still does its job really well. And another important part is the microphone. So here is a test of the audio. All right, so right now I'm recording audio on the S1s and they do sound pretty nice, pretty crisp. And you can see it's cutting off like 
every word like really quickly and because these have some really really cool noise cancellation stuff where when you speak it kind of takes out all the background noise and when it actually tested it in a really crowded street and was talking to other people on a phone call they could literally not hear the cars at all which was really mind-blowing because when i use the airpods they could hear whatever i was like whatever was around me which was insane but here it sounds pretty nice and it does its job really well. The sound quality is pretty good during video calls or phone calls. And when I did my test, the other side could hear me pretty well. I sound like I'm talking to a dimension, but the people on the other side could hear me pretty well. And there's also this really cool built-in feature in the Xiaodu app, and that's the voice notes. I don't know if a lot of people use that, but if you look onto Google Docs and you know find voice typing, basically the same thing, but on the app itself. And the main criteria I was actually looking at was, can it distinguish complicated words? Since it's a budget microphone, I really wasn't sure if it would muffle the voices. So I tested it out and I used words like Czechoslovakia and perfectly worked. It's a definitely really hard word to type and distinguish and it worked perfectly well. So I think that's a total win. And the best part about this app is that you can use three languages, English, Chinese, or Japanese. So if you're fluent in these three languages or you wanna take notes in those languages, you can definitely do that here. All right, so in the beginning of the video, I said I'm starting to prefer these over the AirPods. And here's some reasons why. So reason number one is that it connects way quicker to my phone or computer than the AirPods that I have, which is genuinely insane. And it kind of is bad because I have an iPhone and a Mac and this connects way faster than the AirPods. I've been running to a, into a problem lately with my AirPods. Sometimes it says it's connected to my Mac or iPhone, but it just doesn't play audio. And because of that, I have to reconnect my AirPods from scratch, and that just takes an extra minute, and it's just a really big pain. But these, after my experience, these have not had a single hiccup, and these connect immediately. So after, you know, your first pairing process, you put this in your ear, automatically works really quick, and that's why I love these earbuds. And the second reason I prefer these over AirPods is the tap feature and mainly the responsiveness. So, and if we had a scale for responsiveness, this would be the low responsiveness and this would be high responsiveness. So I'm placing the AirPods right over here because I find myself trying to slap the side of my head, slapping the earbuds to try and get it to work. So if I want to summon Siri, I have to like just slap my head, which starts to hurt after some time, which is something I really don't look forward to. But here is the high responsiveness. This is where the Xiaodu buds go. And this sometimes is also a problem because sometimes when I just take out the earbuds or if I accidentally tap twice, it immediately pops up the voice assistant and it's so responsive. I barely have to do this and it automatically works, no pain. But it's sometimes too responsiveness, like it opens the voice assistant by accident because I might have tapped it like really, really quietly. But I actually prefer the high responsiveness than the low responsiveness because I don't want to feel myself slapping this out of my head. That's a pretty simple reasoning. But there are some areas where I prefer AirPods over these, and that's because of the case. The case here is matte black, and you know AirPods are usually very glossy, so it's really hard to get them dirty. But here, it's so easy to get them dirty. If I place these in a bag of pencils, these would be scribbled all over, start getting dirt all over, and I find myself cleaning them at least once a day or once a week because of the dirt, which starts to get annoying at some point, but I still love this design. The feel just feels more comfortable, more secure in my arms, and it feels way more harder to move than an AirPods. And another downside to the S1s is the way you place them back into the case. So for AirPods, you can just blindly do them. It's kind of easy to do it. But here, the size of the earbuds and the stems are more squared off. So it's gonna be really hard to put them and you have to actually focus to do it. But that's just a minor thing. It's not really like a deal breaker, but it's just something that I've noticed. So in the end, I'm gonna use these AirBuds as my daily driver and I'm gonna switch from my AirPods to these, which is something I never thought I would do when I started reviewing these, but these are just truly mind blowing. And it's really surprising that they're able to fit all of these really cool features into such a device for such a low price. So if you're looking for earbuds and you do have a price constraint, these are the earbuds I would recommend. And from this video onward, I'm starting to review and rate things out of 100. So I'm gonna give this a solid 85 out of 100. It has so many cool features and there are some flaws that need some fixing, but overall an amazing device. So thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing if you like this video and you wanna watch more future content like this. Like this video if you found this helpful and comment any questions or concerns about this product. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description for these earbuds so you can find them pretty easily and purchase them if you'd really like it. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.